Hello and welcome to day five of Reset Week. Today I am talking about resetting your weight loss. Um, and I love talking, I mean, let's be honest, I love talking about all of the things that I've talked about this week. Um, so Monday we talked about self-care in general, which I believe everything that I do is an element of self-care. I mean, everything that I do in my coaching, and I also do strive to take care of myself. Um, so Monday was self-care. Tuesday was resetting your mindset, how you think about things. Wednesday was resetting your emotions. And it was kind of, it was basically an introduction to emotional resilience. Yesterday, we talked about resetting your expectations and how that impacts re relationships, your relationships with other people and also your relationship with yourself. And I kind of think of that as um, emotional resilience development. And so today we are talking about something very practical, weight loss. Um, also, I wanna remind you that today at noon Pacific time, so noon, 11 mountain, no, sorry, backwards. Noon Pacific, one mountain, two central, three Eastern. I will be opening up my Zoom for open coaching questions. If you have questions, you can come on and ask me anything. Um, if, you, if there's a situation or something that you want to work through, I am here for it. Um, and I'm you have people that you think might be interested in, in getting on that call, feel free to share the link with them and invite them. Um, and I just, I think this has been such a fun week. So if you have been on the live calls or if you have watched the replays, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for playing along with me. I just, I love doing this work. I love having an idea and figuring out how to implement it. And then all the work that goes into doing it. And it's so much fun. I love it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, okay. Shameless, shameless plug. <laughs> um, if, if you have been on the calls or watched the content, afterwards um and and enjoyed it and truly enjoyed it and like got something from it i would love it and it would be so helpful to me um if you would like when you watch the video replays on youtube just click the little thumbs up like button that is helpful subscribe to my channel that is helpful um, when you see a post of mine on Facebook or Instagram, um, I'm just going to tell you <laughs> when you are growing a business and you are marketing organically, which means not paying for ads and posting on social media to get the word out, to, to help people find you, to find the people that want what you're offering that want the help and, and just want to see more posts. So anytime you see like me or anybody on social media, like their posts, like it or love it or whatever it is. And then the more you engage with that person, and I'm talking me specifically right now, the more you engage, the more the platform. So Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, YouTube, the more engagement that people have with that, that content, that post, that video, whatever, the more that platform is going to show it to other people that might also like it. So if you like it, if you make a comment, if you share it to your, like share it to your stories or share it to your page or um, share it to specific people. And if you, I don't know, I think it might only, 
on TikTok, you can, I know, and on Instagram, you can, and on YouTube, if you save it, like, I think saving right now is like the mother of all engagement. Like that's when, when the platform sees that people are saving a piece of content or content from a specific person, they're like, oh, people like this. So they want to, they want to spread the word and send it to more people. So there's my shameless plug. If you, um, if you see anything that I post anywhere and you're like, that's so good. And I do this too. I like, I'm like, oh, that's so good. And I just keep scrolling. And sometimes I remember like, oh, go back like that, make like save it, whatever. Um, so just as you're scrolling, that engagement really does help, um, whoever it is that is creating the content. Um, Thank you so much, Anne. It was nice to have the replay option. So well organized. I know how much work it is to do something like this. And honestly, I love it. It's so like, it is literally so fun to me. Yes. It, it, I'm just going to leave it up. I'm going to leave it there right where it's at. And if ever I don't have my website anymore to have it all nicely organized, it is in a, um, it's all in a playlist on my YouTube channel. So you can go watch the videos over on the YouTube um, or go to the replay page and it's all there organized nicely and neatly. <clears throat> um, yes, I love that. Um, what else did I want to say? The devotion that we did this week was so good. If you, if you're not connected with me in the YouVersion Bible app and you want to be, just reach out. Friend, re you can friend request me on the YouVersion Bible app. Um, I believe I'm just Shanna Schultz Pizer. Let's see who am I on there. Um. I'm just, I'm Shanna Pizer and it's a picture of me with a straw cowboy hat over my face from Cabo San Lucas back in the year of our Lord, 2014. And that was such a fun trip. Um, so friend request me in the, the U version Bible app, and I will invite you to future, um, plans that we do. And next week we are redoing more than you've, you are more than you've been told by Hosanna Wong, who was, um, the person that wrote the one we did this week. Okay. I have babbled long enough. So reset your weight loss. Why, why Shanna, as a weight loss coach, did you save this until the last day? Well, let me tell you why I will tell you. Because in the past, in general, we, we know what we want to do. We know, we know the result that we want. We want to weigh a certain amount. We want to have a certain job. We want an, a certain amount of money in the bank. We want whatever we want. And usually, <coughs> excuse me as I choke on my coffee, usually we can figure out what it's going to take to get that thing. So for me, when I was um, well over 200 pounds, my highest weight that I weighed in at was 231. I probably was heavier than that at some point, but my highest weight that I weighed in was 231. And back in those days <laughs> when I was like, I want, I so wanted to lose weight and I like, well, I thought, <laughs> I thought I knew all of the things that it was going to take to lose weight. And I, I would like find a new program or whatever. And I would like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do these things and I would do it and I would see some success. And then I would be like. I would give in to something and then it was all downhill from there um, because <laughs> restriction does not work. Just saying restriction does not work. It works in, a, in the moment. So 
even though we know what we can do to get the result that we want, and we can make ourselves do it for a while, and it can come from a place of, um, for me, it was negative self-talk. Like I truly believed that in order to get myself to do anything that I didn't really want to do in the moment, I had to berate myself like, like one of those the football coaches. That's what I think of like those high school football coaches that just yell at the kids. <laughs> like that was me to myself telling me what I needed to do. And it felt terrible. It felt terrible. And we know from this week, from the things that we've learned this week, the things that we do, the action that we take is because of a feeling that we feel and we feel our feelings because of what we're thinking. So we think a thought, we have a feeling, that feeling drives our actions. I was trying to drive my weight loss actions. I wanted to do positive things for my body. I wanted to take care of my body. I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to feel good. I wanted all of these positive results, but I was doing it from a negative place. I was trying to drive positive actions with negative emotions. I've never said it exactly like that before. And that totally it makes so much sense now. So in this week, the foundation is how am I thinking about these things that I want to do? And in the past, it's been like, I have to do this. I have to do that. I can't have this. I shouldn't eat this. I should go do this. And all of that feels gross and it feels heavy and it feels like pressure. And the Bible tells us to do everything from love let love be the motivation for everything that you do. And the whole, we want to honor our bodies. We want to take care of this temple that we live in, that the Holy spirit dwells in. Um, and so we want to do that from a place of love. And when we can take positive action from positive emotion, because we're having positive thoughts, it's so much easier. It's so much lighter it's so much less complicated. And that's why I saved weight loss for Friday. Because if we don't work on the way that we think and our emotions, then trying to lose weight just keeps coming from that negative place. And we stay in that negative loop because we don't, we don't continue to do the things that we think we need to do. And so we're trying to do it from a negative place. Then we fail and fall off the wagon or whatever. And then we have the mental beat down and all the negative self-talk. Like I knew you couldn't do it. You've never done it before. You know, all of those negative things. And let me tell you, my negative self-talk could get really ugly really fast. And I don't do that anymore. My, my thought when negative self, like, like thoughts will come in like something will pop in my head that's negative towards myself, about myself. And I recognize it almost immediately now. And my thought is, we don't do that here anymore. We don't do that here anymore. We don't beat ourselves up anymore. That's not, that's not allowed. And that did not come naturally. That was, that took effort. It took work. It took practice. Okay. So that is why I saved this for last. And, um, so on the, the, and I, I do believe that thought work is practical, um, um, developing mental resilience and emotional resilience. That is such practical work that kind that can kind of feel, I don't know about woo woo, but kind of feel like, uh, yeah, I get that. That's that's probably really good, but I would just want to lose weight. And really the thought work is the foundation for doing it, for losing the weight, for whatever it is that you want to do. That is the foundation to do it in a way that is simple, sustainable, 
and enjoyable. And those are kind of my three things. I help women lose weight in a way that is simple, sustainable, and enjoyable. And invariably, we end up talking about mindset and emotions and and all of that. So anyway, okay. What does not work for losing weight? And it's so funny to me because we will always, I'll hear people say all the time. And I used to say, the only thing that ever works for me to lose weight is, and you know, it could be anything, keto, carnivore, Weight Watchers, um, South Beach, whatever it is, the, the cabbage soup diet the the lemon the lemonade cleanse or whatever where you put lemon in your water with cayenne pepper um whatever it is and also if if that has worked for you and you're at a place where you want to lose weight again did it really work it worked for a time but we want we want what is going to work forever and that's where I come in. And because we don't, we don't just change your diet. We're not just talking about your diet, diet, as in the things that you eat, we work on your mindset first and your mindset impacts your emotions. And then your emotions drive your actions. So we want to, we want to do a reset, <laughs> It's not called a reset by accident. Um, we do a full reset of your mind, your emotions, and then we work on resetting your body. Um, calorie restriction, low fat diet, more movement. We hear that all the time. Eat less, move more. That sounds really good. And it, sa- it actually sounds like, well, duh, yeah. If you are operating on a calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight. Well, I came across this amazing book, which I so wish that I had read it years ago, The Obesity Code by Jason Fung. Actually, this was not the first one I read. The first one I read was Why We Get Sick by Benjamin Bickman, which led me to read The Obesity Code by Jason Fung, which has led me to read a bunch of other books. And... They, that calorie in calorie out weight loss strategy has been completely debunked by medical scientific studies and, and the powers that be know this, but it keeps it's, it is what is perpetuated. It's not true. Um, the low fat movement of the 1980s. The Snackwell cookies, like who didn't gorge themselves on Snackwell cookies because we want to lose weight and fat is bad. It's not true. Fat is not bad. Healthy, natural fat is not bad. Butter is not bad. What? Um, so those things don't work. They have been scientifically proven that they don't work. And we can talk about that more if you want to talk about it more. Um, Let's see, reading my notes. (laughs) So the things that don't work are the fad diets and, and they do work while you're doing them for a time. And then they don't because they're not sustainable. Yes. Yes. Jason Fung has He has the obesity code. He has the diabetes code. He has the cancer code. Um, I think I I could be mistaken, but I feel like he and another author, I don't know if it's out or if they're working on it. I think it's going to, it's called or will be called the PCOS code. Maybe somebody's working on it that either he is collaborating with them or they have worked together in the past. Um, I don't remember. And another author, Megan Ramos, 
has worked very closely with him and she has a really good book too. Um, and she goes into the like female hormones and all of that. And so does, um, I don't have it in here. Just my mind blanked fast, like a girl, whoever wrote fast, like a girl, Dr. Mindy Pills. So there's so much information out there. And that is, if you don't want to go out and have to read all the books and get all the information and figure out how to implement it all, I am doing that for you. I am helping you to do that. So, and the books are so good. So good. Um, I kind of went way out of order here. Get back on track, Shanna. So resetting your weight loss starts with the foundation of, of how you're thinking and your emotions. And also alongside that, like knowing, okay, what, how do I want to lose weight in a way that I can sustain it for life in a way? And my whole, my approach is lose weight the way you want to live your life. So making those positive changes in a way that fits into your life and that feel good that you want to keep doing. So basically integrating the way that you eat into the way that you want to live. So it's not like we're going to cut out, you can't have any cake or pie for the rest of your life if you want to lose weight. No, if you want to have cake and pie periodically, then we want to incorporate that into your weight loss. Now, I will also say I do encourage you to cut out sugar in the beginning to show yourself that you can to reset your body and your insulin levels and all of that. So the how is um, we work through that when we work together. Um, let's see. I kind of, I noted in here that I was always trying to motivate myself from negative self-talk and I would feel disgusted. I would like, I literally, I literally was trying to drive myself to take action, to lose weight from a place of disgust. You are so disgusting. You need to blah, 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 so that you will be less disgusting. <laughs> That's terrible. Terrible, terrible. And I like to think of like, how would you talk to your daughter? Would you say these things to your daughter or to your niece or to somebody that you love? No, you would never, you would like, I would never say some of the things that had popped into my head to another living human being. <laughs> um, My, and then my, like one of my biggest thoughts on repeat was why can't I just do what I know I should do? Or why can't I just do what I said I was going to do? And that's in coaching. We absolutely work on that. And it's because of how you're thinking about it, how you're thinking about the thing. I can't have this. I shouldn't have this. I need to do this instead of like back stepping back. And I do this a lot with my clients what do you want? I want, you know, to lose weight. I want to be at this weight. Why do you want to do that? And then we start looking at all of the positive things. And then in the moments when the automatic thought is, I need to do this. I have to do this. I should do this. No, 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 no. Back up. Why do you want to do this? And then we're reminding ourselves of the bigger picture. Like, I want to feel better. I want to be able to move easier. I want to run a 5k. I want to wear a dress that I wore 10 years ago, whatever it is. And then you're reminding yourselves and you change the dialogue and it's not, I need to, I have to anymore. It's I want to, Oh, that's right. I want to stop eating because I want to lose weight, to get into those pants to whatever. And it feels totally different. And so the feeling is a different feeling and it drives the action in a way 
that feels easier. It feels lighter. It just feels better. Um, I wrote knowing, knowing what it takes, knowing what it's going to take to lose weight and doing it in a way that is sustainable are totally different. We can know it in our mind and the way we go about it matters. Um, one of the things that I really work with people on, like I said, is making your lifestyle, like bringing, resetting, <laughs> aligning your lifestyle with the size body you want to have with the person that you want to be. Um, and what we, we reset your mind why do you want to do this? Recognizing the things that get in the way, setting intentions, being very intentional, um, which all takes work. So we reset the mind and we work on resetting your body, learning your body's hunger signals, satiety signals. We work on resetting your food tastes, like Anne said, I'm currently breaking up with sugar right now. Yes. And it doesn't even have to be forever, but you can, if you do it for a time to just get that reset and to notice like how your body reacts to sugar, um, breaking up with it and then reintroducing a little bit, like you really become aware. Um, so we reset your mind, reset your body, no, your hunger signals, satiety signals, your food taste. Like you literally, we think people think they're addicted. I'm addicted to sugar. I'm addicted to carbs. And I don't, I really don't like using the word addicted. I'm not going to lie because it feels addicted feels so it puts us in a place of powerlessness. Like I'm addicted. It's just a fact. Like I can't, I can't stop. I can't go without it. And that's not even true. What if it's just a habit? What if you have a habit of eating sugar that has perpetuated your habit of eating sugar? And when you break up with it for a while, when you change the kinds of carbs that you're eating, you notice that you actually want sugar less. You want cookies less. You want those things less and less the more you are resetting your body and it, it is it's adjusting your insulin levels. Um, it truly does change how you think about food. It changes your tastes, which sounds insane, but I'm here to tell you it is a hundred percent true. I am not lying to you. I am not making crap up. I have, I live it. I live it. I used to eat ice cream every single day. I'm not even kidding you. It would be when the kids went down for a nap, like I am a hundred percent having ice cream. And then like, I would say most nights when they go to bed at night, I would have ice cream again. And I was thought I was addicted to ice cream. I thought I was addicted to sugar. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to go out without ice cream. And my beautiful niece and my amazing husband, <laughs> if you were on the a call with me last night, my niece went and got ice cream and they're like, oh, let's get Auntie Shanna ice cream too. And it's still in my, my freezer. Cause I was like, no, I don't want it. And I was in my fasting window and like, I reminded myself the reasons I did not want that ice cream. And I really just didn't even crave it. So you can reset your tastes. If you're telling yourself you're addicted to sugar and carbs, then you're just perpetuating the habit which sounds harsh. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be harsh. I'm just, I'm speaking truth in love. It is really from a place of love. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm actually going to share my screen and show, let's see, get it up here. Where'd it go? There it is. Nope. I lied. To open it back up. See if I can share just that. And I'm going to show you. Practically. So this is the, this is the do. 
So we think things, we feel things, we do things. This is the do. So, and I look at it all as self-care. The basics of self-care and weight loss are get regular sleep, drink water. And my, like for me, the goal is drink half your body weight in ounces of water. If you're 200 pounds, drink hundred ounces of water a day. Planning ahead, having a protocol for what you're going to eat, eating for hunger. You wait until you're physically hungry to eat. You stop when your body is satisfied before it's full, move your body. Like those are the basics. That's how you take care of your physical body. And saying all of those things, also my philosophy, my, um, my, like what I'm always going to come out at for all of these things is start where you're at. If you sleep three, three hours a night, you're probably not going to go from three hours a night to seven hours a night overnight. Um, so we work up to it. If you're drinking two ounces of water a day, you're not going to go from two ounces to a hundred ounces overnight. You, we work up to it. We set a smaller goal and we work up to that goal. Planning ahead, setting your protocol. We work through all of that. And that is, that is um, like the crux of building trust in yourself, becoming a person that does what she says she's going to do. And that I cannot even explain the power that that has. And like, like the power within you rising up, how capable you feel when you start seeing yourself doing what you say you're going to do. That is like, it's, I can't even tell you the, the value of that. Um, eating for hunger. This is something that it's, it's kind of always a work in progress and you can start at waiting. Am I hungry before you put anything in your mouth? Like just start, start that today. Start asking yourself that today before you put anything in your mouth. Am I actually physically hungry? Am I hungry? And if you're not walk away, drink some water, go for a walk, um, do something creative, do something fun, and then move your body. And moving your body is self-care. It is not, I do not believe that moving your body, exercising has a very big impact on weight loss. It is good for a multitude of things mentally and physically, but I do not believe that moving your body is necessary to lose weight. And then I have the, so that's the basics of self-care. And then I have the up-leveled reset protocol, which um, is, is kind of, I've, I've kind of iterated. It's an iteration of what I have taught and coached on. And most of it is the same sleep, drink water, plan ahead, have a protocol. And in this protocol, I have included it's, um, it's intermittent fasting is basically working on setting up your intermittent fasting protocol, no added sugar, no refined carbs, and drinking two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar um, before you eat the first time and before or after you eat the last time each day. And that has a lot of um, a lot of good benefits and then moving your body. So really it's that plan ahead protocol that is the up-leveled reset protocol. And what we do when we work together is the first thing we do is we pick, we go through and pick your protocol. Where are you at now? Where do you want to be ultimately? And what is that first step? What are we going to work on first? What are we going to track first? And then we talk about how to measure your results. And that can be um, several different ways. So that is... Um, what I have for today for resetting your weight loss. Um, I, I currently work with clients one-on-one. -on -one, so if you're interested in getting on a call to see what working with me looks like, you can schedule that at shannapizer.com. Um, I'll also put, I'll put the link on the reset page. If you want to schedule a call periodically, I do a weight loss reset group and those are, it's a six week group 
that happens. I haven't done one for a while. Um, I'll probably be doing one after the first of the year. So that is a good kind of way to get started. But if you're like, nope, I'm ready and I want the individual work, um, you know, to work on exactly where I'm at with what I need, then schedule a call. I also had, um, forgot about this. I copied and pasted, somebody posted a Google review for me and I just wanted to share it here because it like number one kind of made me cry, but it's just such a good explanation from a client. So she wrote, Shanna is, and I don't, and I don't do this and I don't, and I don't ask for the likes and the things on Instagram, because I want to like boost my ego. That is not it at all. I want to help women to, to figure out weight loss once and for all. I want to help women to find out what it's like to not be thinking about losing weight all the time. I want women to know what it's like to have their husband ask them on a date or to put a class reunion on the calendar and not dread it because your first thought is, oh my gosh, what am I going to wear? So-and-so is going to see me. I don't want, I don't want to be around people. I don't want them to see. I want you, I want women to know what it feels like to not live in that anymore and to live in a way that you're excited to see people. If you're, if you're a people person, if you're an extrovert, if you like, if you really want to see those people that you went to high school with and you want to go to a class reunion, but the way that you look holds you back, I want you to be excited and like not have any of that negative baggage holding you back from going to a class reunion. I actually, I had a party for my mom, my sister and I put on a birthday, a surprise birthday party for my mom. And we invited somebody that we haven't seen for a long time from where we used to live. And she messaged me on Facebook and she's like, I don't know if I want to go. I've gained so much weight. That broke my heart. I, I want to help people to not experience that anymore. Okay. So here's the Google review. Shanna is an exceptional life coach who has transformed what started as a weight loss journey into something far more meaningful. While she helps me work toward my health goals, her approach addresses the whole person. Okay. Also, I'll, I will also um, disclose that this person is an author. So if you ever want somebody to write you a re review, ask an author to do it for sure. Apparently her compassionate judgment-free guidance has helped me understand myself better and make lasting changes. She listens deeply, holds me accountable with kindness, and truly understands that sustainable change comes from within. Having a coach who is both trustworthy and genuinely caring has made all the difference. She's helped me see that my journey is about so much more than numbers on a scale. If you're looking for a coach who will support your growth on multiple levels, Shanna is the one. What? Oh my word. Whoa. I just exited out of the wrong thing. Um, uh, and like, that is what I want. Like her saying those things about me, that is who I want to be. That is the coach that I want to be. And like I said, I have the reset, um, I have the reset weight loss group that I do periodically. That's a six week group. I coach one-on-one -on -one privately. And I like, if we get on a call, if you're like, yeah, I want to get on a call. And I think that the reset group setting is going to be what's best for you. I will say, Hey, let's get you signed up for a group. And if I think that private coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching is going to be the best fit for you, I'm, that's what I'm going to suggest. And it's not because I want more money. It's not like it's not that it's that I think that you're in a space where the private coaching is going to be way more valuable. And, um, I've had people go through the group that it's been super helpful for them, but we weren't able to address the, like the issues that were really keeping them back because it's in a group setting. And 
I want to be more delicate and careful in that and not as, um, not as, um, I don't know, I guess not as call, calling people out, calling, and I like to say calling people up. I'm not going to call you up as much in a group as I can one-on-one. -on -one. So that is what I have for today, resetting your weight loss. Um, and I gave you, like, I gave you the information. If you want to go out and start working on it yourself, do that. I have a lot of free content. I have um, on my Instagram, I have a really great... Um, if you go to my Instagram profile and it's co at coach Shanna P and in, I'm trying to get there. My computer is being slow in the highlights. Like if you go to my profile in the highlights, there is a highlight called eat less tips. That kind of sounds weird. Eat less tips, but it is it is my series of reels that I did all about practical tips to help you eat less. And that like, that has so much goodness. And also on my YouTube channel, I did um, two or three videos about how to eat less. And like, if you go onto my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my Facebook, there is all kinds of free, helpful information um, to get you started. And like, if that's what you're going to do, do it. I would love it if you would click the like button and the share button and the save button to help with all of the analytics and stuff. Um, and the, what is it? The, what are people always talking about? The algorithm, the algorithm, the algorithm, boost the algorithm. Um, and if you are really ready to get started and do this work and make that positive change mentally, emotionally, physically, schedule a call. And it's free. I would love to talk to you about how coaching can help you to make those changes. Okay. I've been on here for 46 minutes and I am going to let you go now. <laughs> Please reach out if you have any questions, comments. If you want to give, I'm, ooh, I just, I'm going to put my Google review link because you don't have to work with me. You don't have to pay, pay me to give me a review, right? Um, Google reviews help also. So I'm going to put that link on the replay page as well. If you feel so inclined to write me a review, I would appreciate it. Okay. Have an amazing day. And I would love to hear how, um, what you think of all this, your takeaways, what are you going to start implementing today? If nothing else, let's see, what would I say? If nothing else, oh, it's a toss up. Drinking the water, like drink more water. Drink more water and ask yourself, am I hungry before you put anything in your mouth ever? Those are, those are my, my two biggest tips. So I would love to hear what you are going to implement today. Thank you so much for being here.